Well, Jed, your first win as Morecambe manager, just a 5 0 away win. Just describe how you're feeling at the minute. Fantastic. I was just made up with the way the lads played, and you know, I was really delighted that we kept the clean sheet as well in the end. Um, we went out there, we said, let's pass the ball. And, and the passing today was unbelievable. Everyone that was comfortable on the ball all wanted it, all shown for ang- angles to get the ball. It was just an all round top performance. Eli King put your head seven minutes, good time to score, and a lovely goal for him as well. It was an absolute crack. We've been working up um, the last couple of weeks on getting shots off and more shots off outside the box. But I thought he was exceptional today. He, he led like a leader, young kid as well, and he, he was just absolutely brilliant. The goal that stood out for me was the fourth one. Not so much the fact that David Tatonda nearly smashed the net, but the build-up play to get to that position was absolutely tremendous. I'd say what, if Man City scored that goal, everyone will be raving about it. It was unbelievable. Before I hope to show it that the, the one touches that, that we had, it was about eight or nine passes, and a great flick round the corner, and then it come on to David, dummy in the box off of Adam. What a strike. And he was, he was coming off, he had a bad hamstring, he was coming off then. Just before that, I, I just thought, no, I'm not bigging him off on odd numbers, I always bring him off on even numbers. <laughs> and then he does that. I said, you sure you're, sure you're injured? And he, no, he, it was an absolutely brilliant goal, yeah. And to cap things off, Michael Mellon, two for him again, 13 now in the league for the season. Tremendous. It's tremendous, but it's not. Uh, <laughs> obviously, the more goals he scored, and less chance of us keeping him in January, so... He deserves everything he gets with it. He's a top, top player. And what's what you say, 15 now? 13 in the league. 15, 13 in the league. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Brilliant. Giving the ball round, round it in the area to goal, isn't he? Top player. Is it a real worry for you that he might not keep him because he's doing so well? It is, and it's not. I want him to go on and do really well. I really do. Um, obviously, it would hurt us if we lost him, but it's football, things like that. Happen. On a personal level, your first win. I've asked you a few times, how are you feeling now? It hasn't sunk in yet. I don't, I'm still nervous with three minutes ago when we fought, uh, was it 4 0 then? I'm still nervous, but no, it's such a relief to get a, a first league win. Obviously, we've won in the cup, so hopefully, it's, uh, there'll be more to come. Is it nice to see that what you're teaching on the training ground is there for all to see on the pitch on the Saturday? Yeah, I think so. We, we had a game plan today, I know I've been saying that for a while, but it really came off today. The game plan was obviously to get wide get, and get crosses, many crosses in. and set pieces and it worked absolute treat and I said once we go ahead we've got to keep the ball in midfield and Jan Eli Jay can come on JJ Joel absolutely brilliant everyone of them followed the game plan that went, went to plan One player I noticed today was Jacob Bedo was captain and just before he scored which is unusual for one I saw him inspiring the others shouting at the others he was having a go at the others if he didn't think they were doing the right thing and I thought he just showed tremendous leadership before his goal 100% he's uh, he is a leader, isn't he? He's an international footballer. Um, not just him today. I thought James next to him, and the, the whole back four, the goalkeeper, everyone, they weren't a bad player on the pitch today for us. And they, 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 all, they were all like men. We've got, about, we've got a young team. They play like a gang of experienced professionals today. Very, very good. You're getting ready now for the, the, the always, always busy Christmas period. But you've set a benchmark now, haven't you? Yeah, it's a good start for us, isn't it? Um, as the lads going past. Um, yeah, it's a good start for the Christmas period. We've got... I think we've got four games coming up really uh, close to each other. So hopefully we can build on that from today and take it into the next game, Saturday. And how important are those four games? Because at the end of them, you know, there's a real indicator of what might happen towards the end of the season. Oh, we all know Christmas is so important for, for your season. If we, if we manage to get a, another couple of wins out of that, we'd be, be absolutely delighted. Take us ready for the new year and uh, see what brings us. Well, Jed, a fantastic afternoon. Well done. Thank you very much. If you look at the league table, Jed, we've, we're a point outside the top seven with a game in hand. I haven't actually looked, to be honest yet. I've just been speaking to the lads. Is that right? Yeah. We're made up with that. Hopefully we can go on and win that game and push us right into the playoffs. Talking to Ollie Rass, who was obviously helping in, that, in John's absence, and he said it doesn't always happen when what you work on on the training field comes to fruition on the Saturday, but it did perfectly today. It did. As I said, just now to the... The game plan worked perfect today. Everything we played for today, we, we, it come off for us. Uh, you get days like that sometimes where, the, where everything works. Your set pieces, our set pieces were outstanding. They really were today. The delivery off Eli and, and uh, Adam, spot on. Exactly what we wanted off them. And ex- exactly what we just said, it went to game. It went to the, the plan, yeah. And great to get that win for, for John Mack as well. He's going to be delighted watching that at home for him. I'm glad you said that. He was, he's been on the phone to me all the time. I've been telling him to stop <laughs> stop ringing me, to turn his telly off. And he said, there's not a chance he's got the telly on. He's going to try and watch the match. He'll, he's just texted me now, straight away, great results. But all the lads put, put, give that one for him today. Get money for your old phone.